Hello gorgeous people, so today we are going to be doing a hip and lower back release. If you have a couple blocks handy, you can use them, and if you don't, no worries, you don't absolutely need them, they just add a little something if you know what I mean. Before we get started, please make sure to like and subscribe to my channel, click that notification bell, and follow me on social media at Maddie Likes to Move, and otherwise I will see you on your mat. As you press into your heels, lift your hips and place a block underneath your sacrum on the lowest level. The sacrum is the flat bony part just at the base of your spine. Place your hands on your belly, deep breath in, full breath out. If you'd like to, you can take your second block, lift your hips once again, and stack it just above the first block. Lowering down, make sure that your lower back feels secure and supported, and you don't feel any sciatic pain. Flex your right ankle, curl your toes towards your body, and extend your right leg long. Bring your left knee in towards your chest and interlace your fingers around your leg. Breathing here. Place your left foot flat down on the ground, bend your right knee and place it beside the left. Take a moment to feel the difference between the left and the right side. And then activating the left ankle, curling the toes and extending the left leg, we'll hug the right knee in towards the chest. Deep breath in. Full breath out. Bringing the left foot down and the right to match. Lift your hips, move the blocks over to the side and lower down onto your back. Notice how you're feeling now. Setting up for a figure four stretch. We'll bring the left knee in towards the heart and cross the left ankle just above the right knee. Hug the right knee in towards the chest and wrap your hands around the back of the thigh or the front of the shin. You should feel a deep stretch in the outer left hip. Allow the head to relax back and breathe. You can stay here if this feels good. Otherwise, bring your right foot down and then dropping the side of the right leg and the bottom of the left foot towards the right side. Deepening the stretch a little bit further into the glute. And if you'd like to do a diaphragm release, just massage the muscles at the base of your rib cage. Notice if you're holding any tension in your belly your foot doesn't reach the ground or the side of the leg doesn't reach the ground, you can stay in the figure four stretch or use your blocks underneath your legs. Coming back to center and clasp your feet and then gently drop your knees from side to side like windshield wipers, releasing the hips 
and the lower back. Setting up for the other side. Cross the right ankle over top of the left knee. Hug the left knee in towards the chest. Let the back of the head relax down. You can wrap your arms around the front of the shin or the back of the thigh and simply breathe. Bring the left foot down and then drop the bottom of the right foot and the side of the left leg towards the left side. If your body doesn't reach here, you can always place blocks underneath the foot and the side of the leg. And if you'd like to, you can massage underneath your rib cage and release your diaphragm in this pose. If that doesn't feel good to you, just release your arms out to the side. Bring your legs back to center and clasp your feet and gently windshield wipe the knees from side to side, just massaging the hips and the lower back. Hug your knees in towards your heart and then bringing your knees out to the side, grab the back of the thighs and pull them out towards the armpit. If this is enough for you, stay here. Or if you'd like to, grab the outsides of the feet for happy baby pose. Bring your feet down, place them together, and let your knees come out to the sides so that your legs can make a diamond shape. If you'd like, you can grab your blocks and place them to the outsides of your thighs for Supta Baddha Konasana, reclined butterfly pose. Resting your hands on your belly once again. Close your eyes and breathe. Moving the blocks out of the way. Place your palms to the outsides of your legs and bring your legs together. Slide them long. And then opening your arms to the sides. We're going to let our right toe turn out to the side. And then gently dragging the side of the right ankle up towards the bum as the right knee moves out to the side. And then extending the leg back out long. Sliding the side of the right ankle for four, three, two, one. And extending the leg out. One, two, three, four. Sliding the ankle up towards 
your bum. Knee moves out to the side, thigh faces up towards the ceiling, and then sliding the leg long. One more time. Bending the knee to out to the side as you drag the outer right ankle up, and then extend the leg long. Take a moment to feel the difference between the right and the left side. And then letting the left toes turn out to the side. Drag the side of the left ankle up towards the bum as the left knee moves out to the side. Extending the left leg back to long. And relaxing here. Sliding the side of the left ankle up for four three, two, one, and then sliding the leg long, one, two, three, four, continue on, moving as slowly as you can, you might feel a stretch in the inner left thigh, or a bit of a contraction in the outer left hip. And then lying flat on your back, bring your arms alongside your body and just take a few moments to allow this to sink in. Deep breath in through the nose, out through the mouth, in through the nose. Out through the mouth. One more time. And exhale. Thanks so much for practicing with me. Let me know how you feel in the comments and share this with a friend. Before you leave, please make sure to like and subscribe to my channel, click that notification bell, and follow me on social media at Maddie Likes to Move. And if you're interested in any of my live workshops, just join the mailing list in the link below. And otherwise, I hope you have such a beautiful day.